Hello and welcome back to Sci-Tie Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a freeform circuit for my first time. And I'm going to show you how to take a 14 gauge wire to link all of the components together and to use an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller to control the circuit. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need a 56 ohm resistor, an 8 pin IC socket holder, an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller, a 3 volt button cell battery holder, a 3 volt button cell battery, a slide switch, 14 gauge copper wire that is uninsulated, and 9 LEDs, 3 blue, 3 green, and three red LEDs. Now let's go and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm gonna take the 14 gauge wire, pull out a piece, straighten the wire, make sure it's nice and straight, take a measurement, and I feel like two centimeters is a good size. Cut off the piece, hold on to the other end, otherwise it will fly across the room when you cut it. And there we go, I have my little piece of wire. And the idea is to take the wire and solder it to the pins of the IC socket holder. I want to solder it to pin 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Cut some extra wire about the same length, so that way I can solder it to all of the pins of the IC socket holder. Next, solder to both ends of the wires. And there we go, she'll look just like this. Next, solder in the pins of the IC socket holder. And now, solder in the first wire onto pin 4. Next, solder the second wire onto pin 5. And now, do the same thing with the rest of the wires, soldering the pins 6, 7, and 8. And there, she'll look just like this. Next, modify the 3 volt button so battery holder, and as you can see, it rocks back and forth. I need it to stand up straight. In order to fix that, I'm going to take some hot glue, and take a decent amount of hot glue, and put it on the bottom of the 3 volt button so battery holder. Putting the glue going across, just like this. Wait for it to solidify. And it should look just like this. And there, as you can see, it stands up straight. It does not tip over. Perfect. Next, solder tin the leads of the 3 volt buttons of battery holder. And then solder tin the slide switch. Next, take another 14 gauge wire and solder to the center pin of the slide switch and then solder to the positive terminal of the 3 volt button cell battery holder. And as you can see, the wire is a little bit too long. What I need to do is take a mark and make a mark right here. And this is where I need to cut. And there, now I have a little piece of the wire and shorten the other wire. And now what I need to do is take this little piece of wire and place it on top of this other wire Soldering the two pieces together will allow me to solder to the side switch. And now solder to the center pin of the side switch. And then take the other end of the wire and solder it to the positive terminal of the 3 volt button so battery holder. I decided to remove the wire that is on pin 8 because I want to try a different method of connecting the wires together. Take a measurement of the first wire. Take the pliers, place it right here and I'll make a 90 degree bend. And I'll cut the wire. Adjust it a little bit. Next, take the pliers and bend the wire in another 90 degree angle, going this direction. I find doing this method is a lot better than the first method. Solder ten both ends, and I'll solder it to pin eight. And I'll solder that wire to the slide switch. 
And there, do some adjustments and it shall look just like this. And as you can see, the second method looks a lot better. It's a lot easier and it looks better. Of course, this is my first time, so I learn as I go. Next, take the 56 ohm resistor and shorten the leads. Cutting it right here looks good. Solder tin both ends. And then take the 56 ohm resistor and solder it to pin 4. There we go, soldered into place. Next, I'm going to take this wire, place it over to the negative terminal of the 3-volt benzo battery holder, and I'll take a pin and mark the estimation of where I need to make a bend. This part right here looks good. Bend it in a 90 degree angle. Cut the wire. Position the wire. Make a mark where I need to cut the wire. And then cut the wire and solder tin both ends. And it should look just like this. Put it into position. Solder to the 3-volt button cell battery holder. And then solder it to the resistor. And there, it should look just like this. Next, take the blue LEDs, solder the anode over to pin 5 and the cathode over to pin 4. Take the pliers and bend the wire that is on pin 5 in a 90 degree angle. Next, I'm going to take the LED and bend the leads in a 180 degree angle. And then take the cathode and bend it in a 90 degree angle. And then take the anode and keep it straight. Position it just like this. Then take the other two LEDs and bend them both in a 180 degree angle, just like this. And then on both of the LEDs, the anode and cathode are bent in a 90 degree angle, placed on top of each other to create a parallel circuit. Solder tin all three of the LEDs. And then solder tin the wire of pin 4. Solder the cathode over to pin 4. And the anode over to pin 5. And then take the other two LEDs and connect the anode to anode and cathode to cathode to create a parallel circuit. And there, the blue LEDs are now soldered into place. Next, pin the wire of pin 6 in a 90 degree angle. And it should look just like this. And then solder the anode of the green LED to pin 6. And then take this wire to connect the cathode over to the rest of the cathodes. Solder it together. And there, the cathodes are now connected to the cathodes. And I repeat the same process to create another parallel circuit. Solder it together just like this. And there, the green LEDs are now connected. And now I decided to remove the wire of pin 7 because it's too short. Now I replaced it with a longer wire. Solder it back to pin 7. And now I'm going to go and do the same thing with the red LEDs. And now the anode of the red LED is now soldered to pin 7. Solder the rest of the red LEDs in a parallel circuit. Solder everything into place. Next, take this extra long wire to connect the cathode of the red LEDs over to pin 4. Solder it into place. And there, the circuit is almost complete. Next, I'm going to take the 3-volt button cell battery and two jumper wires. One connects to the negative and the other connects to the positive. And I need to connect the negative over to pin 4 and the positive over to pin 5, 6, and 7. I need to do this to make sure that everything works. Touch pin 5, blue LEDs turn on. Pin 6, green LEDs. Pin 7, red LEDs. And as you can see, all of the LEDs work. And now I'll take the 3 volt button cell battery and put it into the holder. And now I'll take the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller and put it into the IC socket holder. And there, this circuit is now complete and the project is now complete. And now let's go ahead and test it out.
turn on the switch, and there, as you can see, it works. Now let's see how this looks in lower light. And as you can see, this looks very interesting, very artistic, and very unique. I absolutely enjoyed making this project, definitely want to make this in the future. The interesting thing is you can carefully pick it up and you can see that it's nice and solid. And you can turn it around and look at it. This looks very interesting and very cool. I absolutely like the way this looks. This looks very amazing. Definitely want to make more of these. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own 80 tiny 85 freeform circuit with using a few simple parts. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.